We're going to be talking about ankylosing spondylitis. This is Dr. Jason West with the disease and condition series that you may run across or perhaps a family member may have this condition. Now in this video we're talking about what happens when the ligaments start to fuse. We call that ankylosing spondylitis. It affects the joints of the body. It's primarily in the spine and it can cause a condition where it literally looks like a bamboo spine. The ligaments on the front and the sides fuse and you become inflexible. It can also cause pain in the sacroiliac joints, but it also can be really important in your overall health and your body mechanics and body function. And the severity of ankylosing spondylitis, it can vary from person to person, but it's mostly a chronic lifetime disease. And we've had some really good outcomes with that. Now, ankylosing spondylitis is thought to have a genetic link, an environmental link, and there's a protein that they can test for. It's called HLA-27, that the genetic marker for this ankylosing spondylitis, it's found in about 90% of the Caucasian population with ankylosing spondylitis. Now, the percentage of ankylosing spondylitis is different based upon ethnicity, and there's some susceptible developments in AS as they have that marker. Now, the history in the family of AS is frequently gastrointestinal infections are a risk factor. And that being said, the presence of this HLA protein does not necessarily mean that you will develop it, but it is an important risk factor and marker. There are genes that experts consider activating by your environment. And also don't forget about a chronic or low-grade infection component it's my personal thought process that there are specific types of bacteria that really like the minerals and ligaments. And as they go to, quote, eat those, the body tries to wall them off, contain the inflammation. And what happens is we get these hardened plaques. And so I believe there's an enormous infection component in ankylosing spondylitis. And again, it's not just me saying it. We have some really good outcomes. And one of the reasons why we do that is we just wanna balance everything out. We wanna balance uh, proteins and how you're getting the right things into your body. We wanna make sure the immune system's working, the hormones are balanced, and don't forget food sensitivities. So many times chronic inflammatory arthritis like this condition can be triggered by an overreaction to things that are in foods called phenols. And so we have this inflammatory reaction. It's just not good for the body all the way around. And it could be a low-grade infection from staph or strep. I believe Lyme disease can be an important component. I also believe that it can be viral triggered. So the way to help this is really to turn on your immune system and get it to work appropriately. And so I like using vitamin C. I like a universal softener called dimethyl sulfur oxide or DMSO. And there's an important way to really help this immune system and getting the nerves to reset called neural therapy. So I've, I've published several videos on the benefits of this treatment and how we literally have taken people from not being able to move and not being able to function very well to softening up some of those tissues and improving their quality of life. This is Dr. Jason West. We're talking about energy, balance, longevity, because I don't believe that you're your diagnosis. There's a person in there. And as we treat the person, we balance things out we can get good outcomes. I'll see you guys on the next video.